Hello, this is not a spring chick, and today, yes, for many, it's a somber day of remembrance for 9-11. But meanwhile, the president cannot resist attacking, oh yes, the woes of the nation. Must be the fault of George Bush. Or is it just what his teleprompter said? Oh, uh, well, it's just what his teleprompter said. But who are those speech writers? Meanwhile, we're going to bring old Kim on with comments on the headlines of today. And Democrats admit that Obama is not likely to leave office in 2012. Okay, do, uh, some of the Democratic press are starting, they heard this, and it was said four different times from, from his election people, some of it having to do that the, the, the country's economic positions mean that this president should not leave office until after the job is finished, and that uh, he's too important to this nation to leave office at this time. And there was no mention whatsoever of him winning the election. It was he's too important to leave office. Mm -hmm. And as I tried to explain to people, the only way a president can be removed from office is if he is impeached. And if they control the Senate, the, this president can be, he can be president for life, folks, because you cannot remove a president. You can unelect him. They do it all the time in foreign countries, but the president never leaves office. Yeah, but even after he's impeached, he doesn't have to leave office. No, if they, if, no, he has to be removed from office by the Senate. Oh. They can throw him out on his rear end, but only the Senate has the power to remove a setting president. The Supreme Court can't. Ooh. Only the Senate, the Constitution says the only way a president can be removed from office is through an impeachment proceedings resulting in the majority of the members of the Senate voting to remove him from office. And that isn't likely to happen with the Democrats in charge. And video game is now killing conservative politicians and no anti-violent Democrats condemning it. You believe that? That they're, they're pushing a game where Sarah Palin and uh, Mitt Romney and Perry and uh, Michelle Bachman and others that are running for the presidency are all being killed as enemies of the country. What? You're saying... And they won't even condemn it. What? Yeah, isn't that something? That's horrible. Oh, I know. They said so much. The president, if you will, the you know, the president does, hasn't really heard of this game, but I, I'm certain he wouldn't approve of it. But then he, they told him, and he still won't say he doesn't approve of it. So, um, that's kind of. It, it's sort of like the uh, the thing the other day with Jimmy Hoffa Jr., where the Democrats are rallying around Jimmy Hoffa, and they said. Jimmy Hoffa is, is known for taking people out. When he says take you out, he doesn't mean vote you out. Jimmy Hoffa means take you out, folks. Yeah, and something starts happening to these people. It's like the people from well, the video. Well, some have already said they're going to hold they're going to hold Barack Obama responsible because these are his people. And if he can't keep them, okay, the way it works is if you can't keep your people under control, you end up paying a penalty for it. That's Chicago politics, too. Oh, that is? Yep. And Obama urges community service and unity on 9-11 anniversary. The guys that told him that fruitcake, we must have community service to show honor to people that were killed. Why? Uh, you know, first of all, I had relatives that were killed. I also have relatives that are Jews. And I you can believe me, when I really get tired of hearing about Moses, and I really get tired of hearing about all the wars, and I get tired of hearing about the Holocaust, I, and I, you know, I am a historian. I don't like to hear about the Alamo over your head every day. I remember the Maine. And enough is enough. They're dead. You move on, and that's it. Mm. Yeah. And New York Fashion Week cancels designer show over human rights abuses. Isn't that amazing? What? Well, the clothes were made in a country like Pakistan. There's a lot of clothes or made Bangladesh, in Pakistan. Or Bangladesh, and Bangladesh. Or child labor, or somewhere in Asia. You know, basically, now Fashion Week has now become politicized, and they're removing, they're removing designers because he's not politically correct. Uh, Isn't that something? That sounds like a lawsuit waiting to happen. Oh yeah, because the guy because they spent, I mean, they spent their a money, lot of money, I and mean, they won't return the money. And they knew about the guy was somebody. We're talking. This is not Republicans don't get politically correct. Democrats get politically correct. So obviously it was a Democrat removing a Democrat. I still can't believe they did that. Yeah, it's that's that, that is that is. Well, because like, you have people that are invited to go to the thing. Well, they said it was done far enough in advance. Well, no. If, for instance, people only have tickets to get into that show, it means they don't. They're they're. It's just not. 
Um, you know, like this is the fashion week's been going on for three days now, and they tell people yesterday, they're there, folks. You can't get your airline tickets back. You can't get your room money back if you're there. You're, you're there, and basically you screwed everybody that was going to the thing. They really did, because there's people that came in just for that show. Yeah. Uh, Egypt vows to prosecute those who targeted Israel embassy. Yeah, BS and Bull said, yeah, they, we, we really got it. They could have stopped it. Well, three people, we killed three people that were doing it. Well, they're supposed to be, the, they're supposed to have a protection. It's a diplomat, they have diplomatic protection, and they let the uh, embassy fall to the terrorists. And the Israelis won't be back now, so they did. You know, it, 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 you know but these are people, according to Obama, we can deal with these people. Yeah, they just showed you how you can deal with them. Mm -hmm. And Bernanke unlikely to show his hand on Fed easing. Because there isn't anything else that everybody, okay. They, they, uh, here's one that's a good one. They said that Bernanke is likely to print a, bill, a trillion dollars in money, send it over to the European bank in order to keep the cut over there stable. Oh, you, really? You believe that? I, and they said, but the money's worthless. And they said, well, yeah, but then we print worthless money all the time, so. And slim hope for more survivors for, from Zanzibar ferry disaster. Oh, yeah. They put too many people in these ferries and they turn over and everybody drowns. I mean, it's, you'd think they'd eventually get the idea that like 200 people is the maximum, so they put five or 600 on board. And Libya fighters amassed near pro Gaddafi town. The problem is, is half the country is still in Gaddafi's hands, folks. So they control, they, they only control the peace places where NATO is supporting them. NATO doesn't go support them anywhere near where there's other country borders. Really? Well, if something goes, okay. They, uh, they, as it is, they're trying to explain accidentally killing a Nigerian reporter. Yeah, and they said, well, how, how did the NATO troops that aren't supposed to be there accidentally kill a reporter from Nigeria? They said, well, they were there as, trained, as observers. They said, but observers are not supposed to shoot people. Mm -hmm. Which means they won, the, they won the war with regulars. and They didn't win the war with rebels like they're telling, telling people they did. Ooh, and Oscar winner Cliff Robertson dies at 88. Yeah, I worked, I worked a few times with Robertson. Robertson was the weird... He, okay, he was a rich kid that married a rich kid that basically broke the, you know, he blew the whistle on studio accounting and it killed his career for a while. But like he said, it wasn't like he was ever going to be a big star anyway. <laughs> he, he won an Academy Award and ended up like F. Murray Aberson, which was, um, you know, basically doing things like on television mm -hmm. because there was no, uh, it, it, what he did, you know, he did Charlie, which was his production. Now he produced it. He did everything about it and got his. It was, it was the only thing that he ever did on the stage that he actually got to star in. He had a long career of making movies on the stage, making Broadway productions that you know, like Paul Newman, Marlon Brando, Gregory Peck. These people all took his roles, and he was still he he was an A-lister just like they were. But he he couldn't get an A-list movie no matter what. And Obama's jobs plan paid for? Seems not. Well, he, I, I actually, I found Bear the Market. He hasn't been around for a while. He's got his own Twitter account, though, folks, if you do watch Twitter. Every now and then he does Twitter about it. But Bear said, first of all, it's not a half a trillion dollar bill. It's a trillion dollar bill. And, you know, how are you going to pay for it? Well, we're going to raise taxes on people that are unfairly, uh, unfairly profited. And we're going to raise taxes on all you millionaires and billionaires. We're going to raise taxes on all the little businesses. We're going to take all of your loopholes out. And in return, you get $10 billion in tax breaks. Ooh. Yeah. And they said, will the money that he intended to raise in taxes cover his spending? No. But that's not his problem. The President of the United States is going to let the super committee, of which there are only five members of now, solve the problem. Mm -hmm. And Lee drenches northeast and 100,000 told to leave homes. Well, okay, this is getting ridiculous, people. There, it's a flood. I mean, you know, uh, it's not like most of those homes are built in floodplains. Mm -hmm. You know, where the homes are built in floodplains, you get up and leave. Where the homes aren't built in floodplains, you just stay there because the water come up to your... I have water come up my front door in Fresno, California. Really? Yeah. 
and a Monty bubble is in from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. That uh, generally when most people hit a dead end, they turn around and go the opposite direction. Politicians unfortunately keep trying to go straight ahead.